Today's video, Understanding the Chart Basics, Learn to Recognize a Tradable Setup. It's part of our ongoing series discussing setups and charts for the trend shift and retracement setups on the charts provided by ActiveTraderSetups.com. Remember, 92% of day traders trying to scalp lose money. Only 8% are successful, and of the 8%, only 2% make money on a consistent basis. Why do those 92% of day traders fail, and what makes the 8% successful? Lack of a plan and a set of rules, in our opinion, is what makes 92% of day traders fail. Following other people and just taking trades when you don't have a reason to take the trade other than somebody else said so. Active Trader Setups Trading Package is designed for day trading and swing trading. Got four basic setups, two longs and two shorts. Trigger prices on the chart real time. Develop a plan with trading rules and discipline. Okay, let's look at the basic chart components and understand those. This is a teaching chart. I've got them broke down. And this particular indicator you never see. But it actually tells you when you're studying when this pull back, there was no box over here giving a projected trigger to turn the green line back to red. When it got right here, however, the yellow indicates that there was a box over here. When it was here, as well as here, as well as here, as well as here, as well as here. So as it projected all of these levels back up, as long as this yellow dotted line stayed on the chart, there was a box over here saying 2x short watch trigger. 2x meaning two times the algo factor, which is 25 on this chart. So at all times, here it was saying if we drop 50 cents lower in our projection, we're saying we're going to turn green to red and draw a line and be triggered to short just like it did here. Also, using our projection charting, as it went up here, it maintained that, saying now if we go back 50 cents to algo factors, we will change green to red. So that means at that point, all we got to do is match this dot right here, and we'd have went green to red. As it went further up, it still said the same thing. So now you're here. 50 cent below there would have been right here, 2x. As it continued, it was 2x again, so right here. So understand the projection charting as this stock is rising is predicting a higher short watch than it started out with down here. That level that's appeared over here changed, uh, let's see, 50 cent, dollar, dollar and a quarter, as much as a dollar and 75 cents. It raised the short watch level. All this time it kept raising that short watch level. That's what our projection charting system is all about. So we want you to understand how that works. Second, you have a, what we call the edge indicator. Now you, this is a variable you can change. We'll talk about that in other videos. For day trading, I like it set to six. And I'm teaching some things about how fast it moves from here back to here, from yellow or red back to blue when it's sold off. If it's sold way off and it gives an instant reversal all the way back up here, right here I look for this chart to continue on up, and in this case it did not. It has to be instant, so that's one of the things we teach in our more in-depth videos. 
but I like to know I've got this on my side especially if I'm coming from a, a reversal if I'm trying to go counter trend and I'm trying to go early this is our force indicator you can see that it did right here came into force well below this line the as we were working making lower lows the force was making higher lows divergence so that means we're weakening in this sell-off also what was happening here our edge was also making higher lows so that's a, a tell as you're in a short that your short position may be weakening and then the final indicator is our momentum indicator when we get a crossover and we own some of the scanners run this crossover red to green if it doesn't have the the yellow being the upper and the lower simultaneously switching color to blue at the same time we go red to green it won't even show up on the alert that tries to get out the chop uh, type stock so that's the second third thing you want to learn here is when we can get the two together is indicating momentum later here as you're watching a stock that's plodding along and it does start to turn back up it, it gained the momentum now sometimes it doesn't do that immediately sometimes it can make a change of direction uh, quite a bit without ever it doesn't instantly you can see here it didn't instantly give you the upper blue it took it a very long time to do that in this case it did instantly give it uh, when it, as soon as it turned back up that's momentum gaining then when it uh, 50 cents later two dots each dot represents an algo advance we got the lower blue one to join that is a another momentum indicator in the direction you are already traveling now I'm going to overlay the last indicator that's not shown on here is the the lower blue ones it's called our power momo alert we're going to overlay that on the chart now it follows the color exactly the same time as this does to give you a visual up top as well as a momentum gauge we've started down and this particular sell off here we actually you can see the rise here was not out above the momentum indicator in this case it was it crossed below well part of the difference is you don't have the green edge as you have the red edge back here this is strong momentum to the downside and then right after it got to this point you gain the other side of the momentum like we were talking about over here the, the momentum increased as it got here so that's how you read all these indicators also notice as this bounced here and this is keep in mind a 25 algo chart so that's a dollar bounce it never gave it doesn't doesn't show the yellow or green arrows which means there was never a box in this left hand corner saying long watch it reversed back down and then continued on lower this is the first trade setup is the breakdown of green to red the second trade setup is when we have a retracement and then we resume the trade same thing here we crossed over we chopped around we didn't get a big retracement I love to get a retracement right back to the level and then go but we resume the trade 
and you can see that the force came right back into the trade as it took that earlier high out. This is during one day. This is the beginning of a day, end of that day. Another part of understanding a chart setup, this is the 26th from this line to here. As this stop turned up and gave the retracement right in here this chopping around it gave for a little bit that was a 50 cent pull back 75 cent up 50 cent back what's it doing right there over here to our left is our inflection chart you can see the same force at the bottom there on the chart and what's what's it doing here is this green line is yesterday's high so it's broke out above yesterday's high this is day before yesterday's high a little bit further back in your vision that this happens to be the the next I'll go up the 50 but as we're coming up we went up through yesterday's close is the yellow line this is today's uh, open way down here the blue line and we headed straight up and as we did this dancing around this is the same dots that you see on this chart this is plotting on the 25 I'll go on our inflection chart as it's coming back it's going to VWAP going to VWAP and then broke on out that's part of understanding the process the next part as it broke up we ran into yesterday's high which was right around 61.46 what also you need to understand is right here at 61.33 is the 50 day moving average that was this blue line on this daily chart so you want to know about support and resistance that's what the green and pink lines are pink lines are places the stock has bounced before and went back up and as you can see on this daily this was a low created it revisited it here and held it and it revisited again here and held it old support the green is old highs where it ran up and rejected and that's what the green line is here that's that old highway back here so when you revisit you know what you're looking at so this is longer term support resistance short term support resistance and then you can go right over to a 60 minute chart and find an even shorter term support and resistance as this stock on the 27th went higher it went into an old high and it rejected and that level is already posted on the chart so you see it when you get there that morning it ran up real fast pulled back and gave way this is again a 50 period in the 200 period moving average of the 60 period chart back to your daily what happened on the daily our high of day on the next day was 65.76. 65.62 is a 200-day moving average. So it couldn't get through there that day. It couldn't get through there this particular day as well on a big gap up day. So if you're trading this big gap up way back here, you want to be aware that it ran into the 200-day. So those are the basics of things you need to be aware of. This is not an easy game. You've got to be aware of everything that's going on around you. Now let's tie the chart in to what went on over here. Let's move this forward a day. The second day when it went into the 200 moving average and it started selling off, it came back through the 25. That's this green line here as well as on this chart it also took out its open price that's the blue line and it took out yes uh, the morning low this was the morning low in the pink line and it continued to make lower lows and as it did that look at how our algo charts are going to tie in here when we came down through the green line which is this is not our short setup you could trade it early because of the strength you see here if you're just day trading down 
but at any point it may bounce because our trade is actually triggered by the the box that's placed over here at $63.19 when you want to put it on the short watch. But look what happened right here as you came down and made lower lows for the day. Remember yesterday when we were watching this chart, we had this red line very thick. That's the 50 algo. That's the next level up that it had broke out through and went long. And as it's pulling back, just like we were watching this chart to pull back and hold the line, it pulled back to the next level up, which is the 50 algo, and almost held it to the penny. The 50 algo at that time, we're going to look over a 50 chart here, right here, it went down for a low or a close at 63.16, and the pivot line was at 63.11. So that is that it hit it higher the day before and then ran up early in the morning and pulled back. It did hold that line as we wanted it to. So that's tying in all the things you need to know. Now as it bounced, what did it do again? It hit the open price. The blue line is your open price for today. It hit the open price and failed. That's an inflection point. VWAP happened to be right above it and the red 25 as well. And this is part of what we teach. When we've had a trend, that's the next part we're fixing to talk about, is a trend shift. This is a trend. This is our shift. That's why we call this the trend shift pivot zone. A pivot is a change of direction. As we've ran up for the day and a half, when it came back down, we teach many times, we'll revisit, especially if you're over three algorithms into the crossover when you get the trigger. Well, we've got one dot here, so that's one, two, three, four. We're over four. We like to be within three when we break on through here. We expect a revisit, and this is one of my favorite setups, is just to wait on the revisit, and I'll take the short up here if other things apply, and in this case other things did apply because you had the open price for today and the VWAP in play right here as well as the trend shift is already triggered to the downside and what do we have here at the same time our perfect crossover of the two blue ones and it was pretty weak going into that with signified by our two indicators here the next thing I want you to recognize is a chart that doesn't tell you anything. This is the next algorithm up on this chart. It's a 50, so this might be your swing trading. If this is your day trading number, you're going to be a level or two up for swing trading. The next level up is your 50 algo and then a 100. And you can see both of those, these are all days now, these little dash lines are different days. This is just in a huge range bound area. This chart doesn't show you a trend shift, it just shows you range bound. Same thing here. This is not a trend shift, we want a significant chart to signify a trend shift. Now this is starting to build some uptrend on the 50 now, but that's the closest it's come to. This is a trend. So when you look at a chart that looks like this and your first thought is, well, that don't tell me anything, you are exactly right. So don't make a trading decision on that chart. We're going to change symbols just for a moment and look at another chart. This is a 10 algorithm. This is a big, big uh, price chart for a 10. You do have some up and down movement here from the day before, then this morning it opened here, actually opened here, 
went straight up a little bit and rejected and worked its way down. This is a very sloppy trading chart, but I want you to really want you to see the other setups. This is a 25. This is multiple days. So when you see a 25 that is as sloppy as this, you will day trade the 10. You will not swing trade this at all. It means nothing. If you go out to a 50, it still means nothing. Now, this was a pretty good downtrend coming into here, and it did signify going up right here, and it did go up. That's 50 cent dollar, two dollar move there. But after that, it got very sloppy. And remember, each one of these lines represents a different day. So now for days and days and days, this has been very sloppy. Also, we don't like to get this deep in the chart and back and forth. We want to honor our levels. We want this to actually go here and turn red. It's not honoring the levels. It's all over the place. It means nothing. Don't trade it. When you see these charts that mean nothing to you, learn exactly that. They mean nothing. And when I see a stock that means nothing from the 25 to the 50, I keep looking for the bigger trend. Here's a 100. Now, and this is lots and lots and lots of days. This is the bigger trend. All this choppiness we've been seeing is, is this here. This does have a downtrend, and it may eventually turn back to an uptrend. And until it does, and that could be way back up here when it finally turns this red to green. Nothing significant right now. This is the box we've been talking about. It is saying 8650 would turn this green if that happened right now before going down any further. If it went down another dot, it will reproject this number. It's always looking out, wanting to know if we go up two dots or down two dots, what happens to the red and green line? That's why this comes and goes. If it's not within two factors of the actual algorithm on the chart, it doesn't post anything at all. This indicator is always on the chart, and we talk more about that on the actual website, on the tutorial. Don't forget you've got the tutorial on the websites that you can go back to. They're always there. You just go back to ActiveTraderSetups.com, look under Products, and then you have a menu of five different pages that shares all the charts and talks about all the definitions and so forth. It's always there, and it's a good refresher course. So remember, a trend shift is indeed that. Make sure you can see a trend that's going to shift when you have these indicators for long and short watch on your charts.